are you mateys arcade pirate here with another tutorial video on how to set up pinball versus arcade coin ops front end Arr. before we get started slap the like button punch the subscribe button and kick the bell for new content notifications like this in the future you're going to need two downloads. First, you'll need the Pinball vs. Arcade zip and the PVSA update. The Pinball vs. Arcade folder, of course, is going to contain the front end with all the games, and the PVSA update zip file is going to contain the update needed for FX3 games to actually work on your machine. We will need to turn off a few things before we get started. First, we need to turn off Windows Defender permanently. Go to Start, type Edit Group Policy. Expand Administrative Templates and Windows Components. Scroll down to Windows Defender Antivirus. On the right hand side, double click and turn off Windows Defender Antivirus. Select Enable, then click OK. Second, we need to turn off UAC for Windows. Go to the Start menu, type Control Panel, go to Change Account Types, then change user account control settings. Lower the bar all the way down and then click OK. Now we are ready to get started with the front end. Create a folder called Pinball vs. Arcade with no spaces. Now extract all the files to this folder. Go into the folder called Fixes When Not Working and install DirectX 9 and Microsoft Visual C++. Now extract and copy the contents of the folder PVSA update to this location under your user account. Go into the Pinball vs. Arcade folder and open the Emulators folder. Open pbaconfig.execute and navigate to the Display DX11 tab. Change the back buffer width to 1080 and the back buffer height to 1920 and then click Done. You will have all types of screen positioning issues if you don't. If you plan on running the front end with just an Xbox controller, then you're almost set. But if you want to set up the build like mine, then you will need to download two more programs. The first one is called Auto Hotkey, and the second is UAC Pass. Go online and download Auto Hotkey and install. After installing the program, right click on your desktop and select New Auto Hotkey Script. Name the script Pinball Arcade Exit. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Delete what you see in the script and type the provided lines. After saving the script, right click on the script and select Compile Script. This will generate a new auto hot script. Right click on the script and go into Properties. Under Compatibility, check the box for Run This Program as an Administrator and then click OK. For some reason, Pinball Arcade will not close with the command Alt F4, so we just created a script that will force it to close. The key for closing is set to letter K. We will map this button later in Joy to Key. Now download UAC Pass.
and run the EYC pass.execute. Click the unlock button in my desktop checkbox. Make sure all the settings look the same as what you see now. Drag and drop the new Pinball Arcade Exit Auto Hotkey script into UAC Pass. You will see it appear on the desktop. Open up the Start menu and type Run. Type the provided line into Run and click OK. This will open the Startup Program location. Drag the newly created Auto Hotkey script into this location. We will need to also place a shortcut of the CoinOps execute file into this location. Right click on CoinOps execute file and select create shortcut. Now place the shortcut into the program startup folder. If you don't want the CoinOps front end to load at startup, then you can skip this step. Make sure joy to key is set to run as admin. Open your pinball versus arcade folder, then open joy to key folder. Right click on the joy to key execute open compatibility tab. Check the run this program as administrative checkbox and then click OK. Before opening CoinOps front end, you will either need to stay offline or block Pinball Arcade from accessing the internet in your firewall settings. The reason is that Pinball Arcade wants to update the tables automatically when started. This causes the game to crash and you will need to copy the Pinball Arcade folder from your original zip folder back into your Pinball vs Arcade folder on your desktop. This is a pain in the ass, so stay offline or block your firewall settings. See instructions on blocking programs in your firewall below. So now you can open up the CoinOps front end and take a look. If you're running into any error messages, I will have troubleshooting guide below for further assistance. If you don't see your issue in the troubleshooting guide, then you can leave a comment below. So now we can set up the joy to key program for arcade button mapping. For setting up zero delay arcade sticks, see instructions below. I like to install the buttons into the case first and then set up mapping to joy to key later. So when opening Joy to Key, you will see Joystick 1 and Joystick 2. I set up a third joystick because I have an Xbox controller plugged into the computer. When pressing one of the buttons, you will see that it lights up the Joy to Key program. To map this button, just double click the location and the Choose One Function category for this button window will come up. Under the keyboard emulation, you can set your keys. To make sure you set the correct keys for each command, load tables from each game and change the controls you want them set to. I set all the controls for each game, FX2, FX3, and Pinball Arcade to the same buttons. So for example, I set the flipper buttons to left shift and right shift for all games. I would write down all the controls you set for each game and go into Joy to Key and map them. For control buttons like pause and exit, you can set multiple keys for each button. Let's take a look at my exit button configuration in Joy to Key. So when I press the exit button, Joy to Key will press K, Alt F4, and Q. The K is the auto hotkey script that we created for exiting Pinball RK. The Alt F4 is for exiting FX2 and FX3. The Q is for a closing main. It might take a few tries to get everything up and running correctly, but when you do, oh hell, it's the best feeling. For the arcade games, you will need to go into your Pinball vs. Arcade folder, Emulators, MAME, CFG, and open the default file. You can make changes to all your controls in this location. After making changes, save the document and then set as read only. If you don't, the file will revert back after opening. Take your time in this location. I will provide my default file below. So now you're ready to play. I know this is a very in-depth tutorial, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. This wasn't an easy setup. This will take some time and patience. Since I have an Xbox controller inside the case, when the ball hits the bumpers, it rumbles, which is pretty cool. I hope this tutorial helps all of you out. Until the next time, buckos, this is the Arcade Pirate sailing out!